And the Spirit of the Lord said, A worldwide crisis and great fear has suddenly gripped the nations. And what has caused the fear? For it has been discovered that a deadly contamination has hit the food market. And a panic begin to stir in the nations. Food has been contaminated. Food has been contaminated. And I watch and I see tons of food being thrown away. And in some cases I see some being burned in a fear. And then blame began to be shifted. Because someone sought to experiment on certain things in regard to food. And the experiment has spilled over to a poisonous, deadly substance that has filled the food chain. And fear gripped the nations as to where that food has gone. And a search and a panic began to happen. As people try to locate it and try to dump it and get rid of it. And now a great concern who have been contaminated with this deadly substance. A radiation substance is locked into the food chain. And fear gripped the nations. But all my people, I'm in the midst of you. And I will preserve you. And I will protect you. It shall be known that I am your God. And I am your protector. And I am your shield. And I am your covering. In the midst of that conflict, in the midst of that great cry and great fear of the nations, know this, my church, I am in the midst of you. You shall eat of any deadly thing and it's not going to hurt you because I'm in the midst of you. But I will give understanding as to the cause of it. And I will give understanding how it can be stopped and how it can be prevented. But when you see this happen in the earth, don't be afraid, my church. For the enemy will throw out everything that will cause you to be fearful. He's on a fear campaign. He's on a fear campaign in all the earth. He's spreading his wind of fear. But the Lord says, greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. So I will demonstrate my power in the midst of you. That when you prepare your meals and you sit to eat, you will not eat in fear, but you will eat in faith because of my power and my ability to keep you in the midst of what appear to be deadly and what appear to be destructive. As it would be destructive to many, but it shall not be destructive to you, my people, because I'm in the midst of you. I will show my protection. I will show my care. I will show my care. Holy one of Israel. Thank you, Lord, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So what are we going to pray about? Pray against the fear that the enemy is on the campaign of creating. So Holy Spirit revealed that the enemy is on a fear campaign around the world, throughout the nations. We want to pray for the faith 
of the Lord Jesus Christ to rise up in his church. Faith to believe God. Faith to believe the word of the Lord concerning us. Faith to believe the promises of God concerning us. But he is able to keep. He is able to protect. He is able to provide. He is able to take care of us like no one else can. Because the world will not be able to take care. Because they'll be under the power of fear from the one who is on the campaign of fear. And so the world will try to subject us to the fear that they are under because they've been influenced by that same fear. But the Spirit of God would rise upon us and create a defiance to the fear. A defiance to the fear. And establish our confidence in the one who is faithful. We will stand in total defiance to the fear that will govern nations by the enemy who is on the campaign of fear. But the church of Jesus Christ will not be subjected to the fear of the wicked one. We will be subjected to the faith of God. Faith in the word of God. We will be subjected to the influence of the Holy Spirit and his directives in the midst of the fear campaign that the enemy is about to create in a way in a way that we've never seen before. So we pray that in the midst of this thing that the Lord said is coming, we can't stop it because there's a purpose for its coming. You're going to watch on television as it's going to be like a shocker throughout the world. as a result of people's experimenting on food and cause this deadly radioactive type wave stuff to enter into the food chain. Resulting in cancer and different kinds of diseases. An attack on the food chain. But it comes from another realm. But the Lord will permit it up to a certain point. To show his power over the earth. And his power over the wicked one. And empowers his church to stand in defiance against the powers of darkness. These days are coming. And the power of the church what be most relevant in the midst of these times. The more dangerous a time becomes, is the more relevant the church will be. The more dark the days become, is the more relevant the church will be. Its relevancy would be visible in the dark hours because the light is rising on us. So we pray ahead of time. While these tests are on their way secretly, we are praying now. Remember this day, mark it down. Remember this day. For the Lord, he is God in the midst of us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit.